Wait at night in the center of Moscow. A car with Ukrainian number plate stops near the Rina Dugina SUV. Out comes a woman and 12-year-old girl. The woman asks the daughter not to bother until mommy attaches the explosive to the SUV. After everything is done, a woman and a teenager change their Ukrainian number plate to Kazakh and run away to Estonia. This is how Russian FSB explains the explosion of Dugina's car. Officially, all in one, Ukraine, Estonia, Kazakhstan, but there is one small detail in their fairy tale. Who is Dugina? Why this unemployed 30-year-old woman is suddenly declared a young hope of Russia, now? She's useless target for any enemy outside Russia. Darvina Dugina is not Alexander Dugin, close advisor of Putin before the explosion, the ideologist of the new Russian world. Actually, nobody has ever cared who she was until the explosion. The case, which is still in police, is open because they still don't know if it was an outer gas explosion. It is normal for Russians to buy a big expensive car and then use the cheapest outer gas equipment for economy. There is even no proof that Dugin is really dead. These are Russians. How can we trust them? And today they are scared of being declared a terrorist state and accuse everyone around them of anything. So even if Dugina is really dead, it is just FSB that collects everything in one crazy Russian compot. Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Estonia. Soon we will hear about the woman's connection with the Azov regiment. Strange that mighty FSB hasn't found the Bandera portrait or some Ukrainian business card that they always do when they try to set up anything. Nevertheless, what works for a low IQ Russian audience doesn't work for the world where one can ask uncomfortable questions and not be arrested as a traitor. There are many accusations Russian have nowadays. Russian accuse Ukraine that Russian occupiers were poisoned, typical Russian crime by the way, on the occupied territories near Zaporizhia. Strange. Russia accuses Ukraine of shelling the occupied Zaporizhia and PP while their own soldiers are taken away from there with the radiation disease symptoms. Strange. Russians are so afraid of becoming a non grata nation that they even invented a term for that, cancelling culture. And now they are blaming everyone in it as well. While they continue terroristic attack against civilians and PPs and committing war crimes themselves, they are preparing a show trial of the Azov fighters, scared of them even in prison. So it's not strange why Russians blame others for Dugina death. No one cares actually. This is Russia. They kill celebrity children since Ivan Grozny times.